My name is Arthur Carabot, I'm 25, I'm from Hackney, I'm a musician and interactive music programmer. I was born in Hackney, um, went to local schools in London Fields and in Stone Newington. Been playing music since I was about seven, started on the violin, the piano about nine, and then found the guitar when I was 13, which became like my main instrument. I've been teaching the guitar for over two years now, and that feeds into all the work I do really, but it definitely feeds into the interactive computer music work I do because it really makes you think about music and how you make it and how you play it and what you do. So it has an effect on not just my music, but my life and all of the work I do. Yeah, there's a lot of great stuff, uh, a lot of great music happening in Hackney at the moment. Lots of events, lots of nights, um, lots of venues and clubs opening. But the great thing is that uh, you don't just have to go down as an audience member. There are a lot of opportunities to kind of get involved learn new skills, make connections and meet people. For example, I used to go to see a lot of gigs at the Vortex and noticed that they needed more sound engineers. So I started volunteering as an engineer there, which was a you know, great opportunity to start meeting a lot of the musicians and get more experience. I like working in Hackney because it's kind of become a creative hub in the last few years. There's lots of small businesses starting up, both into the arts and also in technology, in sort of Old Street, Silicon Roundabout area. For young people looking to start doing computer music, interactive music, I'd recommend the programming language that I use, which is completely free. It's called Super Collider. It's available on all platforms. There are online tutorials, and there's also a mailing list where you can just go on. There's a strong community. You can just ask questions and get answers to them. So as well as like learning this stuff at home, I'd really advise going out uh, to some of the sort of meetups around these kind of things. As a music programmer, I use computer programming, computer science, artificial intelligence techniques and apply them to music. So for performance, for composition, or as I'm working at the moment, sort of interactive music, say for art installations. I started using programming techniques even when I hadn't been specifically asked to. So I was commissioned to write a couple of pieces of music and I'd use the computer and write little programs, little apps, as part of my music composition. I then got some work doing an interactive music installation. Off the back of that, I was asked to work on the beatbox pavilion for the Olympic Park. The pavilion is playable like a musical instrument, so people will be able to walk around this thing and interact with it at various points. All the music in the interactions will be generated from sports sounds that have been recorded by Mark Ronson. My role on this project is to program the computer system that's running all the sounds and lights and interactions for the building, and also to design the light and musical interactions. Networking and meeting other people who are working in and around what you're doing is, it's been really important for me. Going to there are a lot of regular meetups like Music Hack Space, it's a great opportunity to meet other people who are doing work that might not be exactly the same as you, but might be similar enough. And through that, you get to meet people, who you, collaborate on projects with or they might you know be too busy for a project and put it your way